Okay, uh, let's look at the uh, homework number nine, uh, problem number three. All right. So you have a uh, price uh, function given here and a uh, cost function given here. All right. Part A. So what price should the company charge for the phones, uh, and how many phones should be produced to maximize weekly revenue? All right. So we want to maximize the revenue. So let's look at that. All right, so revenue, so I'm going to call it uh, revenue function R of X is equal to, right, it's always pri revenue is price times the number of products, so X, PX, right, so this is going to be equal to, right, P is 600 minus 0 point one x times x all right so if you multiply this out you see that uh, it's going to be uh, 600 x minus 0 0.1 x squared all right so uh, let's take the derivative of that. So uh, revenue function, so R prime of x is equal to, by right, derivative of 6x is, uh, uh, sorry, 600x is 600. And derivative of uh, 0 0.1x squared would be negative 0.2x, right? And uh, set that equal to zero. All right, so you get, uh, let's see, so we have to solve. So uh, I'm going to subtract 600 from both sides. So you get the negative 0.2x is equal to uh, negative 600. And then you can divide both sides through by negative 0.2. All right. So that's going to be just x is equal to, all right, negative and negative cancel out, all right? So that's going to be, let's see, uh, 3,000. All right, so it should produce uh, 3,000 uh, cell phones. And uh, prices is going to be, so P is equal to, all right, so you have 600 minus uh, 0 0.1 times x is uh, 3,000. So 3,000 right, is going to be uh, 600 minus 3,000 times 0 0.1 is 300. So it's going to be 300. Right? So let's uh, type those in. Right, so that's going to be 3,000 phones and uh, at the rate of uh, $300. All right, check the answer. All right, we got that. All right, so maximum weekly revenue is going to be, all right, so let's compute that. All right, so revenue uh, R, and it's going to be maximum when x equals 3,000. So you just put 3,000 in, All right? We already found that the price is going to be 300. So it's going to be 300 times uh, x is 3,000, All right? So 3 times 3 gives you 9, and you're going to have 5 zeros. So it's going to be 900,000. All right, let's type that in. All right, so got that. All right, we got that. All right, so the next uh, part B. Uh, what price uh, should the company charge for the phones? How many phones should be produced to maximize weekly profit? All right, so we want to maximize profit. So let's look at that. Okay, so we need to find a profit function. Uh, profit is um, profit function P of X is simply 
the difference between a revenue function and the cost function, right? Because the difference is the profit, right? So we know that the, this guy is uh, 600x minus 0.1x uh, squared is the revenue function. Then we need to subtract, right? The cost function is uh, 15,000 Uh, plus uh, 135x, right? So which comes out to be, all right? So you have uh, x squared term is negative 0.1x squared, right? Then you have a 600x minus 135. Maybe I'll, I shouldn't, right? So I already took care of this guy. Right, combining 600 and a 135x, right, so it's going to be uh, plus uh, 465x, right, then we subtract uh, 15,000. All right, so we take the derivative, um, so P prime of X, right? So you can see that this is another, uh, uh, you know, facing down parabola. So the max is gonna occur at the critical number or, or, or the vertex, right? So derivative of that is negative 0.2 X plus uh, 465 right so we're gonna set that equal to 0 right and this is gonna be let's see we're gonna multiply uh, subtract 465 from both so at uh, negative 0 0.2 x is equal to um, negative 465 right then we can just uh, divide through by negative 0 0.2 and uh, x is going to be equal to a right, negative cancel out so it's a uh, 465 divided by 0 0.2 right so 0 0.2 is uh, saying uh, dividing by 0 0.2 is multiplied by 5. So 5 times 5 is 25. And 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 4 is 20. All right. So 2,325. All right. So, uh, so that's that. And uh, so that would be the, uh, the number of phones. And uh, we want price is going to be P is going to be equal to all right 600 minus 0 0.1 times 2,325 uh, is going to be so 600 minus 232.5 all so this is going to be three hundred sixty-seven dollars and fifty cents. All right. Oh, maybe I'll just write that. All right. So let's type it in. All right. So number is uh, two thousand three hundred twenty-five, and at the price of uh, uh, two hundred third uh, sixty. Oh, sorry. Three hundred, three hundred sixty-seven dollars and fifty cents. Right. Let's check the answer. Right. Got that. Right. So maximum uh, weekly profit. So we just have to plug in uh, two thousand three hundred twenty-five into a profit function. So let's do that. Right. So the profit is going to be P of uh, two thousand three hundred twenty-five. So this is going to be equal to, all right? 
So plug it in. So you have uh, 600. Oh, actually, sorry. I'm going to use uh, the final one. So this one. So it's going to be uh, negative 0 0.1. Then x is uh, 2,325 squared plus 465 times 2,325 minus 15,000. All right. So let's bring out uh, bring out bring out a calculator. All right. So it's going to be negative uh, 0 0.1 and times 2,325 squared. All right. Plus. 465 times 2,325 minus 15,000. Right, hit that. All right, so we got the value. So this came out to be 525,000. 562.5 all right all right let's type it in all right all right so it's going to be near a sense so it's going to be five two five five six two point five all right so let's check the answer all right we got that Alright, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.